Williams is a team that was once a title contender, but has been relegated to a midfield team at best for quite a long time now. As such, drivers who start out at the team these days often do so with the intention of eventually moving to a top team. George Russell is seen as a rising talent, and Claire Williams has now spoken about the possibility of losing him to a bigger team. I'm your host Dylan Shelley, and first up on Formula World, why Russell made Claire Williams nervous. Williams Deputy Team Principal Claire Williams began by revealing her confidence in George Russell when she was asked if Russell was in the same league as some of the other drivers in the past who became world champions with the team. Yes, 100%, and I would move heaven and earth to make George a world champion at Williams. The talent is absolutely there. Combined with the commitment, dedication, and singular focus he has, I can't speak highly enough of him. We're just very lucky he's in the team with us. She then revealed why she was nervous about Russell. I was nervous because he is so good. I didn't want to lose him, but equally, I'm not one of those people who will stand in someone's way when they've got a great opportunity. She then reiterated that she won't stand in Russell's way if a better opportunity does indeed come his way. I think I proved that with Valtteri Bottas when he went to Mercedes a number of years ago. But that hasn't happened, and I'm pleased that George is staying with us. We have him for another year, and he's a joy to have around the place. She concluded by explaining what makes Russell a great fit for the team. The way he talks to the engineers and the rest of the team, he's learnt that a driver can have a real involvement in leading a team, particularly when things aren't going well. Having been in a team that isn't having the best time will make him stronger. He hasn't had it easy and it will put him in a better place in the future. It will make him a better driver. Fast feed McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel feels they have really pulled through as a team as they're travelling back to the UK with 41 points in the Constructors' Championship. He also doesn't think the biggest challenges is actually the work they have to do here on the track with triple headers. He, however, thinks the biggest problem is to miss the families and the children for every team member. Renault's Daniel Ricciardo thinks that the news of his departure from Renault can be a bit hard to take, but in time, everyone forgets about it and you go back to work. The FIA and Formula One can today confirm that between Friday 17th of July and Thursday 23rd July, 1,461 tests for COVID-19 have been performed on drivers, teams and personnel. Of these, zero people have tested positive. Masamitsu Motohashi, chief engineer of Honda's F1 project, has revealed that the development continued even after the cancellation of the original season opener in March. Ferrari team principal Mattia Bonotto has stated that F2 driver Mick Schumacher won't end up in an F1 seat until they believe he has made enough steps. He further revealed that they will make a choice further on this season. Imola circuit director Uberto Salvatico Estense thinks that Imola had a permanent place on the F1 calendar for decades in the spring and was usually the first Grand Prix in Europe, and feels that their history with Formula 1 is so important that this opportunity was created not only thanks to COVID, but also because the sport needs to return to historic circuits. Former F1 driver Ralf Schumacher said that as Sebastian Vettel started at Alpha Tauri's previous iteration Toro Rosso, and Franz Tost, like Helmut Marko, is a big fan of his, he can see something starting there. Haas team principal Gunther Steiner feels that the late additions to the calendar are more gambling than business. He further elaborated that it's a nightmare to deal with if you don't get back as much money as you're going to spend. And Red Bull team principal Christian Horner has admitted that they have got something misbehaving aerodynamically and now they have to understand that part and work on it. Will Russell's stint at Williams make him a better overall driver? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you like this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.